Okay, let's save you some time at work and just make it look really impressive. This is like one of my favorite use cases. It's a standard use case for using ChatGPT, and that is summarizing reports. Some of us are working in very information dense environments and we're drowning in information. And ChatGPT can just make your life easier. So anytime that you are asked to write a report for somebody, use ChatGPT. I'm gonna show you how. Um, we're gonna go over to a report. This is a really messy one. I just Googled it, honestly, it's on donuts. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Nicole. I uh, founded Boring AI. It's an AI literacy education company. And my branding is all donuts. So I use donuts in um, all of my training and examples. So we are going to copy this information. And yes, is it it is messy. All of this is messy. Um, we're going to copy it and we're just going to dump it into ChatGPT. Now, some other platforms, you can just share a link. And I could actually share a link here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to copy it. Um, you can upload data, right? This is attaching data. I, I'm just being lazy. I'm just going to cut and paste here. And I'm going to cut and paste all that garbage in there. And ah. No, we do not want the report. I want uh, this. Okay, so here is all of that data. And I am asking it to give me, there we are, to summarize the report. I want the key takeaways, the trends, the recommendations for my struggling donut business. That's why I'm assuming I am. And some areas to consider. Your audience is executive, so keep it short. Now I do that because we all know ChatGPT tends to be so wordy, it drives me nuts. So I'm letting them know, hey, your audience is executive. So assume that, um, we're going to assume that I own a dinner business and I'm trying to persuade my other executives um, in the direction that we should go, right? So we're using this data to make um, the case for something. And this this could be you, it could be anyone in, um, in, in the organization. You don't have to be an executive, you could be anyone. Um, learning how to communicate uh, concisely and in bullet points uh, for people who uh, work above you in leadership or management is such a key skill. Um, and ChatGPT can just help you do this much more effectively. So um, here's all my garbage content. I'm just stuff in there that it doesn't really need, but we're going to give it to the model anyways. And I'm going to add the report. You don't have to do this. This is what I like doing because I like telling the model um, exactly when it has data, what the data is. So this is my prompt. This is letting it know where my data is at. And again, you don't have to have fancy prompts, right? Um, uh, the things that I'm doing in here is I'm telling it what it's supposed to do. I'm telling it what I want. And then telling it who the audience is. So the format, I want it formatted in a way um, that is digestible because this, this is not digestible. This is terrible. Okay. So now we have, I'm going to zoom out. Now we have, great, we have our report. Imagine copying this and just putting it in the document and giving it to your leadership, whoever report to, my gosh, you just saved so much time. Um, here's what I like about this. We've got trends, we've got challenges. Recommendations, you know, this is kind of like, gen this is like them applying general business knowledge to your product, right? That's useful. Here's what we can consider. Okay, well, this is kind of generic. Innovation, yeah. Continuously innovate by launching new flavors and products that align with customer trends. Yeah, obviously. Isn't that what all businesses are supposed to do? Anyway, that's kind of generic, but the stop part is pretty good. Now, here's the thing I want you to check on. Um, check the metrics because we know, check the data. We know that generative AI hallucinates. So this is fine if you're using it for your own kind of um, purposes. But if you're presenting this, let's say to like in a high risk situation where like your managers are going to make huge decisions based off of this information, you want to make sure it's correct. So we're going to go over to the report and I'm just going to do a simple find. We're going to make sure 1122 was actually listed. So USC 11, uh, 11 billion is actually listed in here. So it's projected to grow 11 billion um, dollars in 2024, the donuts market, which, hey, that's a surprise to me. Um, and we see that the global donut market is projected to grow. So that's actually correct. And I would fact check some of the numbers um, just in case, because we know AI hallucinates. But then we see kind of these trends here. So now we can build on this. And let's say, let's say you've now created this report. You want to go a step further and look good to your boss? Say, okay, these are the trends. Create a list of innovative ways our struggling business can capitalize that just means take advantage 
take advantage because I couldn't spell it of these trends. And here's the thing. That's what I like about ChatGPT. You don't actually have to know how to spell in order to use it. It just understands. Okay. Okay. Lots of health conscious like We could do vegan donuts. Had some good vegan donuts before. Um, Nutrient enriched donuts with protein fiber. I mean, seems like it defeats the pur purpose of donuts. But again, if you're looking to, you know, capitalize on the trends, we have limited edition seasonal flavors. Again, so you can start to see here right? We're now brainstorming. We went from creating, summarizing a report and creating it to brainstorming all in what, five minutes? Imagine how much work this saves for you. Imagine bringing this to your boss who doesn't know you're using ChatGPT. You don't have to tell them and say, hey, I have some ideas. Here's what I read in the support. I have some ideas. You mind if I send them to you? Okay. Yeah. Your boss says, yes, great. Create an email. Uh, persuasive email to my manager pitching three of these ideas with um, referencing the trends in the report, right? You want to know where you got the data from. Managers love data. And if yours doesn't, well, then they need to like upskill and get with it because data helps them make decisions. So reference the trends in the reports, um, keep it short, no yapping, and with an ask to meet with my boss about to discuss discuss these ideas. So now, oh, we've gone from summarizer's report to creating a report to getting brainstorming ideas to creating an email, pitching your manager and requesting, you know, a conversation with them about these ideas. Now, here's what I would do. If you get that meeting, <laughs> you need to be prepared. Don't just go in and be like, these are my ideas, right? You need to have some thinking behind that. And that's the thing, ChatGPT isn't doing the, isn't going to do the thinking. It, it, might, it might, you could prompt it and say, okay, I've got the meeting. What do I, what do I dive into? What should they know, right? Or what are some ways to put this into um, production, right? To actually move forward with this, right? Don't go in there with just kind of this. You need to have something behind it, but you can see the time you've saved. This is what, like an afternoon's, worth of work, depending on kind of your um, experience level. So you've got on a journey just to cover what we've done today. We have used the, probably the most useful practical use case for ChatGPT, which is just summarizing information. Then we made a report out of it. So we summarized it and we made a report out of it. So you could send that to people. Then we went on the strategy route and said, what can we do, right? With this data, what can we do with this information in my business? Then we wrote an email to your boss pitching these ideas, right? We've gone a long way today. So these are some great practical use cases for ChatGPT. I'd love to know, how are you using summarization with ChatGPT or really any other LLM? We have others out there. We have Claude, we have Gemini, we have Copilot, and so on. Those are all names of different types of LLMs that you can use. So let me know how you're using um, ChatGPT to summarize and what you're summarizing. And then do you also do this where you just stack tasks on top of it and we move from you know summarization to brainstorming to emailing and so on. So let me know in the comments.